feedback provided well can confirm and increase awareness of strengths. Learners need to know that they are doing okay. Nothing is worse than that vague feeling that, well, I must be doing okay because nobody has said anything. You adjusted your voice well to accommodate for Miss Smith's hearing impairment and checked it with her to be sure. I really appreciate the way you explained each step of the assessment as we went through it for the first time with a client. Help learners improve their performance. Try to take each step of the transfer a little slower so you can be sure the client can adjust their balance as you go. Identify barriers and challenges to achieving goals. Instead of, you take way too long to write reports. Try, let's try and come up with some strategies to help speed up your report writing. Instead of, what happened there? You barely said a word to Miss Smith. Try, you seem uncomfortable with Miss Smith. Can we talk about that? Instead of, I know you're busy, but I need you to spend more time teaching me the skills before I try them on clients. Try, could we negotiate 30 minutes twice a week for skill teaching? I feel more comfortable practicing the skills with you first before I try them out on a client. Instead of, this is so frustrating. How can I learn and improve my skills if my preceptor never gives me feedback? Try. This is such a great opportunity to learn from you, and I want to take full advantage of it. Could you observe me assessing a client and give me some feedback on my performance? I sometimes find it challenging to determine what I do well and what I could improve on. Or, I know how busy your schedule is. Could we negotiate 15 minutes over lunch or at the end of the day, twice a week, for us to discuss my progress? I would love to get more feedback from you. Encourage alternate behaviors and actions. If you took a few notes during the assessment, it might help with both speed and accuracy when the time comes to write your report. Provide motivation for change. Rather than, you need to speak up more in rounds and meetings. Try. You have important information that needs to be shared with the team. Your client's care depends on it, and I know you can communicate well. Help students rate their professional practice in a realistic way. Tell me how you think the session went with Mr. Jones. What went well? What surprised you? What would you do differently next time? Over time, help students to self-reflect, discover their own learning needs, and develop a learning plan to meet them. In each of our feedback sessions, I'm going to ask you to go first. To prepare, keep a journal and reflect regularly on some of your client interactions, especially the more memorable ones. Each week, we'll discuss your reflections and whether there are any resulting learning needs that could be added to your learning plan.